The meanings are many, not one. They may change as we move around and within a text. Seeing it first from one angle and then from another angle at one time and then from another time. Now my analogy to this comes from Zen Buddhism and from Japan where there is that wonderful Ruanji temple, the rock garden, which some of you may know. And I can't remember exactly, but I think there are 13 rocks in there. They're beautifully arranged, but there is nowhere that you can stand and see all 13 rocks at one time. And as you move around, sometimes you see seven, sometimes you may see 12, but not 13. It takes different shapes and different meanings as you move around that garden. So it does not yield. You cannot find a single point of view to say this is it. And I think the Bible is somewhat the same way. We move around in it and we come at it from different angles, at different times, in different places, and we discover new meanings, but we never see it all. We never see it in whole.